Hello, hello, and welcome to my working table. My name is Lisbeth, and I like to work and play in many different medias. One of my passions is making books, and today I will embellish and decorate this flip-flop book I constructed of some of my many jelly prints from the last three jelly printing sessions. If you haven't seen the video where I made the book, construction here. I will recommend you seeing that before you look at this video and I will put a link below for the video and I will also put links to the three jelly printing sessions below. Here are some of the materials I think I will or perhaps we will use today. I have all kinds of different markers here and a dip pen. I have some different stamps and a stamp pad in black. I have some different washi tapes. I have some ink and I have some acrylic paint and a little jelly plate. And again I have my Karen Dash Neo Color 2. This is what I have put on my table and maybe I will use some of them or others not, but, but we will see. But um, yeah, but let's begin. I don't think I will do all the pages in this video because that would be a very long video. I will make a flip through when I'm done and perhaps tell a little about the pages uh, made when I wasn't filming. But this is the front. I have decided this is the front and I like it as it is. Perhaps, yeah. No, I don't think I will do anything with it. And then we come here to this first signature and I also like this page here as it is. Perhaps I can uh, make some, there are some small dots up here and that maybe would be nice. Continue a row of several rows randomly down the spine here. I think that is fine. You could also, if you want, highlight there where there's missing a little. But I seldom do that because I like the print as it is. Then we come to the next page here. This one, and because they are squares and squares and squares, I think. Let us see how it is best. I think I want to put a square piece of this paper and nothing else in the middle. And um, since the other three edges are cut with a scissor, I also will cut this. Normally I will tear because I like torn edges, but I think this is just this way here. And then I will take my glue stick and give it a good amount of glue and then I will put it down here in the middle and push it a little. Yeah. That's all. I don't think it needs any more. So there's this spread who's with a blank page and a black blank color. And I have this paper and I think I would just put it in here. And 
I will take my glue again and throw my glue stick. Also, we'll give it a little glue here. close to the crease as I can but still be sure you can open close your page and not to damage this piece I have some um, wax paper or parchment paper I will put under here to protect my front page and then I will Put this in here and when it's dry, it isn't quite dry yet, but to show you, I will just cut the page clean. Perhaps we also can give this a little extra something. So I think I will put this stripe here. Again, I will take my glue stick. This page here, I think I will make an oval shape in the gold uh, with my jelly print, like my je on my jelly pr plate. Well, I can't speak today. I have uh, some gold gold paints here, and I will only use very little and a small brush. Just go around here, and you don't have to use very much paint because it, it looks nice if there isn't too much paint. I know from experience, so. You can see that's not much. And then I will try to place it here in the middle. Yeah, and then I will rub it. Let it sit for a couple of seconds. Get this nice oval shape. I know I'm jumping a little around but I have some gold paint left so I think I will make 
two small circles. Yeah, but I don't think that's enough paint. So we'll take a little. You really don't need much. Yeah. And again, I will put it down here on my black. Page. Yeah. Yeah, that's look very nice. So let's find some paper we can glue here. Something will go on perhaps. I'm looking in my stack. Yeah, it's a little too small, but I think it's okay. I will put this paper in here. because I was crooked. So here it goes. Yeah, this was this spread. So this was this spread. And uh, let us continue here. I don't think I would do anything to this page because I think it is beautiful as it is. But this here, I have a stamp uh, around the one. And I think I will see if I can put that in the middle. It is on such a shiny gold service, service. but we will see. If it don't work, I can always cover it with something else. Yeah, it is a very light impression, but you can see it. And perhaps I can put some. isn't working but yeah perhaps there's some white dots around it
so I will let them, the small dots dry and this spread is done. Yeah, this is two white blank pages and I think I will use these two papers here. So I will glue them down there and uh, the other spread I think this looks nice because they are rust and copper tones and black. So perhaps this piece here and uh, here and since it isn't long enough to cover the whole page. I think I will put this piece down here, but I will glue them down and show them to you. So these are glued down and I think I will put a little stripe of black up here. So this will get a little glue. And go down here. Yeah, I like that. And I have this Unibowl. Yeah, and that's the right color. I think I will make some s small circles in here. I will need to just get in a little black paint up here. So it doesn't look that white. I think that's fine. we can make some gold circles here if you haven't noticed I really like circles yeah I think this spread looks nice and then the, these two pages here I thought about I have this washi tape with some text on and just washi tape isn't glowing very well so I think I will read the strip off and just let it sit there and then I will give it a good amount of glue here be sure the washi tape is kept in place and not runs away in the middle of the night. But, uh, yeah. Some X's 
this uh, process or what you would call them again. Give them a little with my water brush. Yeah. And I don't think this page needs much more. I will let it be and cut the edges clean. Okay, and uh, this spread here was white, and I think I will put a whole piece of gold on here, and then I have this black thing here, and it isn't long enough, so yeah, perhaps I will put the white here and make a white round circle there, and I don't know that. I will glue this down and we will see. So now these two pages have got a base layer. No, that was the wrong one. I want to make a white circle here and I hope it goes. I will keep it, my fingers at the end of the uniball pen and yeah, there isn't much. Oh, I just have to be a little patient, I think. Yeah, that's quite enough for me. And then I have this gold page here, and I think I perhaps want to use some black ink. And see if I can make some ascetic writing, but we will see. Yeah. You have to be very careful because it is easy to punch the. This is only uh, tissue paper. But I think this looks nice as it is. So this was the signature, no, not signature spread. Yeah, I think this is dry now. And this is the next spread. And I have some leftovers of the washi tape. So I glued them down there. And that is all I will do, except I think I will combine. these three small pieces so I will get a square here this is just a fountain pen with black ink So this page is the same as uh, this one, and I haven't done anything with it. So perhaps I could give this some black, small black dots here at the end of some of them. So it will be a little, little different than the other one, the other page. I think I will just do it here in the middle because I can sit here till tomorrow if I have to make small dots on every little peak. And who wants to sit here the whole night watching me making small black dots? No one, I think. <laughs> I think that would be it. And then there was these two pages we all, I already have made, and then the last piece. 
And again, because this is so squarey for me, I I think I, I want to put squares on all, all this pattern here, but perhaps I will turn it this way this time here and glue this down. A small sliver of something back here. Perhaps it's a little too big, but I could cut a little of it off. Um, yeah, that was that was much better. And I don't want it to be as long as the page, so I cut a little of. Yeah, this looks nice. So, I'll glue it down here at the peaks. Yeah, this was the first signature. I hope I can make a quick flip through from you for you. Perhaps this is better to give them another color. You can't quite see them. Not at the camera, but uh, I will decide. Yeah. This, yeah, this one. I already think this is a long video, but um, at the end, I will make a flip through of whole, the whole book, but I have some uh, for, uh, hours to work before it's done. This is a couple of hours later and it is beginning to be dark outside, but I'm done with my flip flop book. Here is where I left you and I will make a flip through with the along the rest of the book so here's the next signature yeah I'll put some black paper and make some small gold dots a little piece of paper and a circle and this is just two pieces of paper and with a little gold and yeah perhaps you could better see it here some oval shapes and two different kinds of papers and uh, here is a piece of washi tape and another piece on the original paper some stripes and some small tags here yeah and this is so fl flower like so i punched out some small circles and made some white dots and this was made with my jelly plate with the white acrylic paint on black paper this was a, a, the original uh, paper and uh, some acemic writing and this was uh, the white thing here is uh, also made with my jelly plate <coughs> and white acrylic, acrylic ink and it didn't look the best so I made a small cross with uh, some of the paper a little collage or a little cluster here I just drawn small squares and some old tabs uh, not tabs but Text, I think it's gold, and the gold one has got two oval shapes here, and the white grayish paper. This is just gold pen with a pencil. No, no, not a pencil, a brush. I always said pencil because 
in Danish a brush is called a pencil <laughs> and a pencil in English is yeah more like this you can write with yeah and this here also punched out and uh, <laughs> it looks a little bit like a coronavirus but that wasn't my intention but it ended up that way and a small one there and the last page here in this signature I have painted gold here and just two pieces of different papers here and this was the back and also a little sliver down here and this is the middle signature this is a piece of paper that was left when I punched the round ones for, for another page and uh, this is also a little thing punched out this was made with um, acrylic white paint directly as, and my jelly plate and directly on the black paper some collaging here and a circle and more collaging and uh, this is a stripe of washi tape and uh, some stamping and here again two pieces of paper and then I have uh, used my Can Dash New Color 2 and painted some of the petals bronze the original paper and two stripes nothing fancy about that and that spread here was gold the whole thing the whole color was gold here so i took the same paper and made some collaging and some doodling yeah and again the original and a little collage and a little collage here and again a vein circle here here I have again used a white acrylic paint and a brush and this is a gold pen and the white underneath was made like this just longer and then I have done some acidic writing at the top here and here we have black paper and gold crosses and some punched out circles and the original paper and some collage down here and this page I haven't done anything with because I like it as it is and then we are back to the front I will take some pictures and make some close-ups of some of the more interesting pages thanks for following this project I hope you liked it and find it useful and perhaps use uh, your own scraps this way. Also, today is a great day. My Danish little channel has re re reached 5000 subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you who follows me and gives me such nice comments. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care, be creative, until next time. Bye bye.